Hello everybody, in this video I'd like to talk a bit about notification scams. More precisely, fake scanners and annoying pop-up ads. I'll briefly cover the notification scams themselves. That's an entire topic in itself, I'll leave it for another video. Today, fake scanner pop-up ads. A little bit of backstory for you. This actually dates back to the beginning of the previous decade. Fake scanners were more often than not served in forms of interstitial or pop under ads. Nowadays, this isn't really practiced, as it was proven inefficient with time, as more and more people began in selling ad blockers, and demand for that kind of annoying advertising gradually disappeared. Now we have entirely legal and for some reason still undetected notification pop up scams. Browser notifications were a complete mistake. The way that notification tools interfere with your activities. The sole fact that websites are allowed to spam you with notification requests is obscene. Again, I'll talk more about that in a different video, this time I'll focus on results of being spammed with notifications. They aren't that great. I have analyzed this kind of malware for about half a year at this point, and I can tell you there is a lot of NSFW material being pushed. And fake scanners don't happen to appear that often. Despite all that, I managed to get a bunch of websites sending me all kinds of actually malicious ads. Take a look at that one. Viruses found 3. And guess who's behind that? Indian scammers? Uh, perhaps some horrible, horrible company like Ad Avenger? No, the companies behind that campaign are Norton and McAfee. I know that sounds quite dumb. You might not believe me at first too, I understand that. But I already clicked on one of them, and take a look at that. Well, surely it's not McAfee, it's probably some fake antivirus trying to pretend it's McAfee. Ooh, gross sound, man. We are greeted by a fake antivirus that found out that my PC is infected with five viruses, apparently from a browser, or well, it tries to kind of convince me it's a Windows 10 window. So, let's try that again. So here we are greeted with a supposedly antivirus window. Then it starts a quick scan, a real quick scan, that just finishes in like 10 seconds. And boohoo, my PC is infected. So that that's pretty familiar. It's pretty close to what we had in 2010. And uh, currently we're getting more malicious ads, like my files are encrypted. And I have to activate McAfee now to protect my computer. Now I completely understand that it might be a work of competitors trying to mark the reputation of McAfee and Norton. It's very possible since there is little room for small cybersecurity companies to grow in. But even if they are unaffiliated, I've seen this many dozens of times over the course of 6 months. So it makes me believe less that it is a targeted deceit attack. So how about we click on proceed. Okay, so it redirects us to mcafee.com and to a checkout page. So you see, we got a subtotal of 55 bucks. It's, it's kind of a lot for an average citizen. And it looks like a fairly well-made landing page from such a fake scanner website. Okay, and we continue receiving all those Scummy ads. Virus might damage your system. Instead, it seems like a promotional campaign targeted at less experienced users. It's really just to scare them into installing Norton or McAfee and then make them pay for it. I didn't really get Norton here yet, but it's about time. <laughs> a special offer may expire. That's the first type of scam ad that we've got. 
or well, not really a scam ad, but it's just a promotional ad for Norton. Look what kind of domain they use to promote it. Black Friday sale, yeah, all the coupons were applied. Please just buy it, please, we're desperate. Okay, it doesn't send me a notification about Norton, but I guess I can find one of them. Okay, there it is, Norton Security. Okay, I have it saved on my computer, but I think that's enough. We've got the worst ad possible. It says, unable to stop Trojan virus, version Zeus 2021. This actually looks like a fake antivirus, although if we click, I think we're gonna get redirected to Norton, last time it happened. Although it's probably random. No, there's MCAFE, yet another fake scanner. So my point was, there's also a Norton version of that fake scanner. I can't really get it to work now, so you have to kind of trust me on this one. So it's, it's basically the same thing, although on the background there is obviously a Norton site, and there is a Norton window, Norton themed window. And it's the same thing, your PC is infected with 5 viruses and the action is obviously required and my Norton subscription has expired and I have to renew it and my PC is unprotected? No! Okay, so we click proceed and it just redirects us to Norton landing page. Naked checks show everything. Yeah, give me some of that. So this just goes out to show you that you can't trust antivirus software. It's kind of funny how back in 2010, fake antiviruses used fake scanners to engage people and make them download their fake software and pay them. But now we have actual antiviruses with uh, some good reputation built up over decades. I think MCAFE is out here for like 20 years. And here it is, showing a fake scatter in my face. So I even held a poll way back asking my community whether they thought antiviruses were a scam or not. A surprising majority answered yes. I know YouTube polls don't yield trustful results, but it kinda shows why people would think this way. Now to the removal process. It's incredibly basic for an experienced user. But I strongly, strongly, strongly believe that browsers must make this easy for most computer users. I doubt your grandma would remember that long developer sounding about service worker internals name. From there you just unregister every single one of those service workers. They are basically scripts that are caching data, cookies and most importantly sending out notifications. So that's how you get rid of this trash. Just continuously click on register until you hit the very end. I'm not gonna unregister everything on this computer because I still wanna find out how many more antiviruses use this. After you remove all of them, the notifications will be no more. Yeah, you don't really wanna see that notification, am I right? So if you have people close to you that are infected with such malware, don't hesitate, just go ahead and remove all their service workers. They will definitely say thanks to you. Don't fall for this kind of scam and stay safe online. Take care.